A reading from the letter of James, chapter 1. Every good endowment and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained from the world. The Word of the Lord. Yet again, this weekend, we take a turn from the gospel and um, listen to the second reading. They've been so rich in these weeks. They're so amazing every week. We should never overlook them. But they've been so rich that we wanted to truly dive into them as a community here with Ever Ancient, Ever New. What we hear in this word today from James is the importance of the Word of God. Now what we hear is this word that is that is implanted within us, this word that is deep in our souls. It's the very word of God that spoke us into existence with the cooperation of our parents. They are co-creators with God. In our very creation, God plants his word. Another way of understanding this in the Gospels, in particular John, is the Logos. The Logos is what we understand Jesus Christ as the Word made flesh. But this this Logos uh, is, is this very, not just the Word made flesh, not just Jesus. Um, it's, it also refers to, you could say, God's divine plan. The Logos, the correct ordering and unfolding of creation. And therefore, as Christians, to be a follower of Christ, the Word made flesh, the Logos made flesh, we have to cooperate in the Lord's plans. We have to uh, faithfully strive to, to hear and listen to Him and His Word and, and strive to, to work so that we may be cooperators, that we may cooperate in the unfolding of God's divine plan. What that means is, uh, is walking the straight and narrow, living a life of grace. We hear this every week. This is the common theme. But the point that James is making is that we, um, we can't just profess our faith in Jesus Christ. We have to live our faith in Jesus Christ. Words are important. The profession of the lips is important. But without putting it into practice, it's useless. If we say that we love our neighbor, but we don't do anything to help them on their journey, it's, it's empty words. There's no truth behind what happens. Whenever God speaks, things happen. So therefore, whenever we speak, whenever we make a profession, we have to do something. The very words that we speak must follow this divine logos of God. The very words spoken that makes things happen. Whenever we profess our faith in Jesus Christ, we have to do stuff. What do we do? We have to do those charitable deeds, those holy, virtuous, and saintly actions that correspond and cooperate with this unfolding of God's divine plan, according to the, this divine logos, this divine plan of God, this proper ordering of creation. Everything that we do that takes us away from God's plan, that pulls us off the path, that distracts us, is not in line with the Lord's will for our, for our lives. It's, that's why we call it sin. Sin is, is understood throughout scriptures as missing the mark. If we're following this plan of God, this path of the Lord, and we get off path, we get off the course, we will miss the mark. We will miss the target. We will miss the destination. We will miss heaven. 
So, friends, just to wrap up this this simple reflection from uh, on the Word from the letter of James, I invite you to to pray for the grace to cooperate with God's plans, not just in your own personal life, but in the world, in all of creation, so that by following the Lord faithfully, wholeheartedly, in the words that you say and, and the things that you do, that you may you may cooperate with the Lord in this unfolding of the great gift of creation, this beautiful gift of life. Brothers and sisters, this word from James says, of his own will, the will of the Father, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creation. We are the very fruits of the word of God. And our very words and actions must continue to bear the fruits of God in the world. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.